cube. Right. When I did the adjustment to the height of the pedal, I said that the exhaust needed a little bit of work on it. Basically, corrosion protection. Now, uh, I'm going to do that. So I thought, while I'm at it, I'll do a video of taking the exhaust, the whole exhaust system off, because I'm going to repaint it off the bike, then put it back on. So this is how to remove the exhaust. This is the exhaust, we need to take the baffles off. Now, this baffle's easy. We're going to crack a bolt just in here and in here. So this is the fun part. That one's all right. There we go. So just undo them two, just undo them. Don't take them out yet. At this top one, here's another. There's another Allen key. Same again. There we go. And just undo that. What it does is releases the exhaust. Don't need to pull it out because we will undo this bolt. Get your fingers to these things. It should just rotate out. There's one. So as I said, got the corrosion just there, which I want to protect against. So I'm just taking these off to do the job. Got to get this bottom one off. In order to do that, we have to actually take this top bit off. We've got another Allen key on just down here. pre-loosened. So what we've got are the two marine grade bolts that we've got in the top here, which are 13. There we go. Pop that out. Then take the Allen bolt just out here. It off. You can see what I mean. So that's what I'm going to treat. Put my bolts back. I can clean up later. Just so we don't lose them. And that's that bit done. Now, we need to be able to get that exhaust out and it's an absolute nightmare, which is a 10 mil spanner. So as we find a 10 mil spanner, and just pop this off. Now take note of the two marks that are there and line them up when you put it all back. off. There we go. Right, so what you've got to do is you first got to take this off 
here, pop that off, and then what you've got to do is actually take pegs off, but not the peg itself, but the entire unit, which is a 14mm spanner. So just undo these. I have actually taken this off once already. I'm just showing you. So pop them off. hook on here, you just need to unhook that, there we go, pop that to one side, nice and safe, there we go, pop my bolts back in, right, now what you got, you got is two 12mm bolts here, so you need to pop them off, yep. two 12mm bolts, and they are on the head of the exhaust, so you need to hold the exhaust in place and just pop them off. Yep. Now, before you do this job, make sure you lube up everything. And I mean, if you can get a wire brush in there, get a wire brush in there. these will be rusted solid. I've replaced these so I'm not really worried about it. There we go. That's them two bolts off and it is just a matter of letting it drop. And let the let this hand drop and then just pop it out and you're done it's done now I can clean that up and work on it anyway right there you have it exhaust is off foot pegs off because I'm working the exhaust I'm going to keep them off put them in the garage they'll be fine but that's it it is basically you're going to do all this to get the exhaust off. Why would you need to get the exhaust off? Well firstly to replace it but also to get to this point here which is a pivot but also to get to your clutch plates in there. You have to take the exhaust off to get to the clutch plates which means you've got to take that off, that off, <laughs> exhaust etc etc. So it is a pain in the ass. Other bikes aren't like this but it's done. And you can always check it over, give it a work over, and it's one of those things that when you take stuff off, have a look, if they need repair, repair them there and then, and it's done. But there we go, all done. Goodbye YouTube.